tonight a very special unboxing. That's the best Rod Serling I can do. Not in a suit and tie, I don't smoke, uh, I got nothing. But I do have an unboxing. Hey everybody, this is Jeff, Bookhouse Boy, so let's go. Uh, let's see. This is not so much an unboxing as it is an unbagging, but uh, why mince words, right? Very nicely wrapped, and I know what this one is now. This is a book that uh, was recommended by Cameron Chaney on his channel. I'm thinking of ending things, and um, I got it on eBay, but it looks super nicely wrapped, which um, is nice considering it was in an envelope, and just in case I would forget uh, what's actually in there. The kind seller has told me. Yeah, I'm thinking of ending things by Ian Reed. I think it's Ian Reed and not Ian Reed. Uh, I know a couple of Ians and I know one Ian, so I don't know. Number two. I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, this is not stuff that I bought all this week or anything like that. Um, but I've just been super busy and so some different online purchases and eBay purchases have piled up a little bit, which is not the end of the world and uh, fun because now I get to now I get to open them up with you guys. This one also on un unbagging, unpouching. Oh no. But uh This one is wrapped in a uh, newspaper. More newspaper. Uh, Geokinetics report shows errors, mistakes in handling of, uh, we don't need to know any of that. seen that old gag where it's like uh, you keep opening a box, a gift, and there's just another smaller box inside that box, and then you open that one, and there's a smaller box inside that one. It's starting to feel that way. That's okay. I'd rather it be well packaged. Ah, I know what this is. Oh, oh yeah. Awesome. So, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure, this is called Children of the Night, and uh, it's the Centipede Press edition. I was not uh, exposed to Centipede Press when this originally came out, um, but I had read some reviews and it seemed like uh, really creepy and kind of Lovecraftian, and I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan, so, and look at even... Yeah, look at that cover. That's kind of Lovecraftian, right? Like the old gods from the deep uh, are coming in to wreak havoc. Um, so yeah, uh, it's shrink wrapped, but we're gonna open it. That's bad. Don't ever open stuff with the blade of a knife pointed towards you. He says as he does it. Um, yeah, so I got this from a really nice gentleman uh, on eBay, and yeah, still shrink wrapped. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the artwork, right? It's awesome. Children of the Night by John F. Blackburn, with an introduction by Brian Evanson and artwork by 
Gahan Wilson, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but uh, it says the rustic peace is shattered by a series of violent and mysterious deaths, not murders in the ordinary sense, but the work of some malignant, unnatural, deadly force. Who are the children of the night who creep out of the ground and grip a whole village in terror of their ancient vileness? Their secret lies centuries in the past, but what of the future? Their foul deeds of tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Now, an actual unboxing. Uh, no idea what this one is. Um, but I don't know about you guys. What I what I like to do, uh, and I've been this way forever. Uh, I really like to read specific genres during specific times of the year. So during, for whatever reason, like the heat of summer, it goes back to childhood when I would be at the beach or the lake, I would really be into horror, uh, Stephen King, anything like that. That would be awesome. But I would never want to read that uh, kind of like early in the year, you know, in early springtime or later in the year, the holidays. I don't know why I'm just not into it. Uh, during, uh, you know, holidays, like I like to read Christmas stuff. I don't know. I'm a fruitcake. But, you know, it's all right. So I got this on eBay. Oh yeah, I know what this is now. So, uh, remember I was saying that I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan, and um, I knew nothing about Centipede Press before uh, becoming exposed to BookTube, and so uh, I just kind of found out about them over the last year, and so there's a couple of older things that I've gone back and, and searched out on eBay and purchased, and this is one of them. So... This, I'm glad that this is boxed and really nicely packed. Very nice. So that's just, you know, a box and crap. But then this bad boy is uh, bubble wrapped, which is nice because it wasn't cheap. Wasn't cheap, but I saw it and I had to get it. Yeah. The mountain walked. Great tales of the Cthulhu mythos. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at the slipcase. Which is freaking awesome. Sit that down. Look at that. And oh man. So, uh, yeah, beautiful end papers, beautiful artwork. Um, this is edited by S.T. Joshi, and um, I read about this uh, for a while and um, really wanted to, to pick it up, but you know, kind of waited until I could find um, one that I could afford on eBay because they'll go for all kinds of outrageous prices. Uh, yeah, but look at that. Far below that artwork. That's what I'm talking about. This is my jam. Super happy, super excited. Uh, I'm super excited about reading that. I mean, it's a brick of a book, but can't wait. All right. This is my first... You know what I'm just... So, other than I'm thinking of ending things, uh, this is a Centipede Press-centric unboxing and haul. Because this is my first order directly from Centipede Press. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep. Uh, which is kind of cool and momentous. Um, they're beautiful books. Some of them are more expensive than others, but these are things that you're going to hold on to, at least in concept, right? So it's worth it. Boxed packing stuff. And another hefty, another hefty addition in a beautiful slipcase. This one, Houses Under the Sea, by Caitlin Kiernan. Uh, I've never read Caitlin Kiernan, and um, so maybe a little bit of a gamble, but I've heard amazing things, and I've heard uh, that she, I don't know the best way to phrase it, I, I don't know if she is a Lovecraftian writer, I don't know if these stories, uh, well, again, you know, Mythos Tales by Caitlin R. Kiernan. So, you know, somewhat in the Lovecraft vein. Um, little, uh, little sea creature of some kind there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, kind of cool. Let's open this one up. This one, I think, um, is supposed to be signed and numbered and all that good stuff. Like, oh yeah, oh, it, it tells you right here, I think, that 402, I think that's my number. So. Gorgeous slipcase, but come on now, look at that. I mean, blue uh, end papers on top, just gorgeous, gorgeous book. Oh yeah, amazing end papers, Houses Under the Sea. Mythos Tales, Caitlin R. Kiernan. Introduction by S.T. Joshi, afterward by Michael Sisko. Artwork, John Ken Mortensen, Richard A. Kirk, Piot, Piot Jablonski, and Vince Locke. Man, oh man, oh man. This uh, artwork is just nuts. So yeah, here's a fantastic quote. Uh, we seem to move on a thin crust, which may at any moment be rent by the subterranean forces slumbering below. Sir James Fraser, The Golden Bow, 1890. So yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds pretty Lovecraftian to me, um, which is, oh, and look, you know, yeah, so, uh, just beyond awesome and I can't I can't freaking wait to get into these stories last one so this this came all the way from Greece uh, this is another eBay purchase and kind of a funny story so I had become uh, aware of an author named Michael McDowell uh, at some point, maybe a couple years ago, um, when I was searching for haunted house novels that I had not yet read. There, well, I guess there are a ton. There, there are not a ton out there that are known for being spectacular. Um, 
and maybe I'll do a video next week about the ones that I love and the ones that I have. But um, <clears throat> there is one that uh, appeared on a list uh, called The Elementals. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. The Elementals by Michael McDowell. I, I picked it up, uh, you know, it, just a trade paperback for a few bucks. Spectacular. If you have not read this, um, I can't recommend it highly enough. And uh, I should do kind of a video about Michael McDowell and a book review of The Elementals because it is just stupendous. Anyway, um, started looking into some of his other books and um, found out about a, a couple of others, uh, one of which I've read, the other, the other few I have not yet. Uh, very hard to find, but um, one was a series of paperbacks, just mass market paperbacks. That's how most of his stuff was published back in the day. Uh, before he became a screenwriter, and he ended up writing Beetlejuice and uh, some other great screenplays. But <clears throat> he uh, wrote one series of books, uh, I think called Blackwater. And, you know, you can get them on eBay, you can find them in used bookstores sometimes. So I. Uh, I was looking around and I was thinking, do I really want to get the, you know, kind of the old mass market paperbacks, buy all of those? I bought one inexpensively just to see if I would like it, uh, the first one in the series, which I believe is called The Flood, and just loved it. Just fantastic. Kind of southern gothic horror is the best way to phrase it, I think. But, um, so... Once I read that first one, The Flood, I knew I wanted the entire series. I started looking at, you know, do I want to just get all of the original mass market paperbacks? And then, yes, I, sad but true, I saw that Centipede Press had published a collection, uh, hardbound and with fantastic artwork. And so I ended up finding this really nice guy in Greece on eBay who had a set, and I think that's what this is. And here's the funny thing, he also had, I had been looking at other stuff that Centipede Press had published, and they had a, another book called uh, Children of the Black Sabbath by Anne Ebert. And Children of the Black Sabbath I had been looking for because it had been recommended by uh, Dr. Leach from uh, Daily Nightmare, and also because having read about Children of the Black Sabbath. It's funny, it reminded me of one of my favorite horror movies from the 70s, uh, which is called The Blood on Satan's Claw. British horror movie. I don't know uh, if you're into that kind of vintage horror stuff. I definitely am, and it's an amazing movie. I, I don't think that Children of the Black Sabbath necessarily has anything to do with the movie. It does not, but just uh, I got a similar vibe when I read about Annie Bear's book. So he had one of those for sale and he gave me a great deal kind of as a bundle by both. I could be wrong. I don't know. I could be wrong. That might not be what this is. Hold on. Oh, look. Get out of town. He threw in, just to be nice, an issue of Rue Morgue magazine. Uh, which I've heard about and never read. Uh, this is an old version, I think. Maybe not. I don't know how old this is. I'll look at this in a second. Hold the phone. Just popping corn, popcorn, packing corn, pop. I don't know. I'm excited. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Slight lapse in continuity with this video because I'm a moron and uh, 
card went bad, so uh, some of my data was corrupt. We're just going to continue as if there had been no interruption at all. Anyways, <clears throat> the package actually did include Children of the Black Sabbath by Annie Bear, uh, which is awesome. Um, so this is, uh, again, a Centipede Press edition. So uh, beautiful artwork, um, beautifully bound. And um, it's got the usual uh, kind of built-in ribbon bookmark that Centipede Press does with all of their editions, which is fantastic. And um, let's see if at the end... Uh, <laughs> there's some, some happy artwork at the end, too. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, here it is. This is number 139, and as you can see, it's signed by Thomas Tessier. I think it's Tessier and not Tessier, uh, as well as Samuel, uh, Samuel Araya. Um, 220 copies, uh, and yeah, I mean, very creepy. So the introduction is by Thomas Tessier, uh, and the artwork is by Samuel Araya, and uh, it was translated by Carol uh, Dunlop Iber, uh, obviously a relation of Anne's. And yeah, it's just uh, about some really horrible things uh, going on uh, with kids in the countryside. Bad news, but, but great book. And then, uh, So yeah, this is, uh, this is actually the deal. This is what I had uh, originally contacted uh, this wonderful gentleman in Greece about, which is the boxed set uh, published by Centipede Press, yet again, uh, of Michael McDowell's Blackwater. Now, so, you know, I, as I said earlier, uh, these were originally published as uh, mass market paperbacks, and I had bought one loved it and decided that I wanted to uh, go for this box set. They have since been published, I want to say just uh, at the end of last year, uh, it's been republished and uh, I it, it may be in hardcover. I'm not sure of the exact uh, specifics, but it has been republished, so it's, it's easy to get. Um, this box set is not so easy to get. Um, if you happen upon one on eBay, I would jump on it because again, uh, it it's just it's just gorgeous. And I'm gonna here we go. So here's just one that I'll show you guys. <clears throat> but um, yeah, again. So this is uh, the first book in the series, which is called The Flood, and uh, you can see just kind of ridiculous artwork. Look at that. There are there are two ribbon. Uh, bookmarks. I don't know about the, I don't know if I understand the logic behind two. I guess uh, one might hold where you're currently at in the book and the other might be a favorite part. I, I don't know. One might be a favorite part of the book. It's hard to say. I don't know. But uh, anyways, yeah. So um, at the back, uh, 250 signed and numbered copies. This is number 91. Um, there is a uh, kind of a facsimile signature by Michael McDowell, who of course sadly had passed away. But uh, Poppy Z. Bright uh, signature, uh, Paul Wedlake and Patrick Lohr. And I can tell you exactly what they had to do with the book. Um, Poppy Z. Bright did the introduction. But again, just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork that, you know, it's a, it's a funny thing. Um, when it comes to editions, uh, I've heard pointed out an opinion, which is definitely true, which is that you don't always have to have a first edition. Sometimes a later edition is the best edition because of artwork, uh, because of uh, the, the, the dust jacket, just because of the, the binding, because of how it was published. I think it really depends 
Um, you know, again, these were originally mass market paperbacks, and if you're if it, it's all about having the original publication, then that's what you would go for. In this case, I think that this edition by Centipede Press is the shit. So uh, super excited about it. But on that note, I am going to uh, have another unboxing that I will uh, record. I just got a box a couple days ago. I'm pretty positive I know what's inside. I'm uh, really freaking excited about it. So uh, we'll come to that next. But anyways, really long unboxing, really long video. Sorry it's so long. I'm just running off the mouth. But uh, I have, you know, I've got five more of these to read because I've already read The Flood. So super excited. If you guys are interested in reviews, I'm sure it's been reviewed a thousand times. But if you're interested in my perspective, let me know. And um, I will get into specific reviews of these books. And I will talk to you soon.